welcome back to my channel and welcome to a special video of mine. I did one of these in the past, but I actually am going to be making a get ready with me video. I already have my eyebrows done. I don't want you guys to see the craziness that's going on right now because clearly my thread lady or the shop that I usually go to is not open as you guys may already know due to this craziness coronavirus. So I just wanted to do a little get ready with me and kind of keep you guys updated and why I haven't been so active as far as uh, showing you guys my my business and showing you guys my donut shop. Um, I have been super, super busy and we've been employing and coaching and training new employees. Uh, we're actually uh, maybe looking for new ones in the summer. So I've been doing a lot of that and believe me guys, I'm trying to implement as much as I've learned uh, throughout the years in my coaching career and helping and remembering as much as as much as much as possible just because I mean I've been working for 10 years and I've always had a leadership role whether if it was coaching whether if it was training but I feel right now it's a lot of my training and a lot of my implements so I feel like I want to make sure that I do things right and I'm coaching my my girls or whether it's guys uh, the right way so yeah I want to make sure that we uh, fully on have that going and I definitely want to make more videos of the shop it I'm there most of the time I'm there like probably 90% of my time so most of the time I'm there so uh, I definitely want to show you guys and bring you guys some of the new things upgrades that we've been doing uh, I have before and after pictures so yeah so pretty much that's where I've been most of the time and I have been recording videos here and there for you guys so I will definitely be uploading videos for you uh, showing you guys our dailies, showing you guys how we prepare, how we pretty much do everything and for those of you guys that don't know uh, about three months ago in February I took over a donut shop and we are changing things up so we are definitely making your modern donut shop that's something that I want to do because obviously you guys go to your um, usual you know donut shop nothing wrong with that but I definitely want to you know inject some steroids in that so yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and get started sorry for that long intro but let me go ahead and put my face on because yeah Alright guys, so for starters, like I said, I already do have my eyebrows done um, and I'm just going to get a brush and blend it, blend the primer because that's what I use. I don't know if you guys have seen my other get ready video, I'll go ahead and link it. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite and my only uh, concealer I use. So this is for the eyebrows and I started using this pencil here. This is from L'Oreal. It's the Brow Stylist Definer. So this is pretty much what I use. I feel this is just so much easier than using the gel. So that's something that I use and I just blend all the stuff that I have going on under my eyes. Obviously I wake up really early so I, I do have really bad bags. So I'm working on that. I haven't been putting my eye cream as consistent as I should be, but I, I started again a week ago, so my eyes do look a little better. I do have dark circles, so I wanna make sure those go away before quarantine's over because it's about to get crazy once it's over. I'm just literally counting the days, but there is no, no days to count because we don't know what's happening, so we're kinda on a standby. Another thing I like to use, and this is before I, I put my eyebrows, but I did forget, and I wanted to definitely show you guys, is actually the hemp oil that I use. I've been obsessed with this for like two years already that I've been using or more. I don't do any other type of oil. I usually, I did, um, ran out of my hemp oil face cream. Uh, I bought it at Tilly's. But I'm not too sure where they sell it. I have I forgot the brand. Um, but it was so good to me. And I didn't get any blemishes or anything. Like right now I do have some blemishes. But I pretty much just do like a full uh, pump of oil. And I just 
Whatever I have left, I just rub it all over my hands. Right now I have a, a burn right here, so I am rubbing it on there also. And that's drying up so nicely. I know it's, you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? It's still a burn. But this was so bad two days ago. It was like super bad and now it's literally just peeling and it looks like my skin is like coming out and it looks so nice. But yeah, so pretty much I just put this oil all over my face and I let it sit there for a couple of minutes. Alright guys, so another thing that I do use is also the CBC, uh, CBD under eye oil. This one I also bought from Tilly's. This one lasted me has lasted me obviously a little longer. Uh, but I also do put a little just one dot under my eye just to help me not with the, the creases or anything. This literally goes under my eye. So I just literally put it under... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then obviously the next step that I use. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to show you guys. I think I did share it in my other video. But another thing is that uh, I've been using the L'Oreal uh, Revitalift. This I've been using for two years, guys. And honestly, it leaves your skin so bouncy. So if you guys get a chance to get these for you guys so you can use this. If you guys get a chance for you, so you guys can buy this, I would highly recommend it. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but sometimes they do have sales that it's about $10 or so, but these are like $25. Um, for serum, it is a little pricey, but I highly, highly recommend that because it definitely leaves your skin hydrated. And for those of you guys that have dry skin, it works really good. Alright, so the next step, once I've let my skin... Uh, once I've let the oil uh, absorb on, under my skin, I spray a little bit of the rose petal oil and then so I can um, apply my foundation and rehydrate my face. Just enough so you feel hydrated. And I start, you, I start doing these steps for summer just because I have really dry skin. Anytime I go to the sun, I get blemishes or I get really like red or like peeling so I definitely like to protect my skin uh, I know sometimes it can be a little much but I don't care <laughs> you can never be too protected right so the next step I use my NYX foundation I use this one here I use the full coverage foundation and this one is in the color natural so that's my my skin tone and I just apply it on it I just put it on my hand about three to four pumps and then I just go it I just apply it on my face. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much done with all the blending. And it looks so dewy and so nice. I love this foundation. I mean, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever found a foundation like this one, just because it leaves my skin really dewy and it doesn't crease or anything. Because, like I said, that's very, very important. And I don't use any type of primer. I've used primer in the past, but I just feel like it just doesn't really do much to me. Right, so the next step that I do is I do do my eyeshadow. Uh, I just le I've been leaving it really simple uh, lately I haven't really been doing a lot of makeup just because I really want to go to the towards that natural look and I don't want to always have such a heavy look on my face so I'm drew I'm doing really natural colors so for the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm doing the four um, I don't know I don't have the name this one is the silk or the MFEO that one's this one here so I'm doing very very light colors and then just going through. Alright guys, so once I've blended the brown, I add a little bit of the... Well, I mean, it just depends what feel you're going for but I do add a little bit of the shimmer Where's my brush? Okay, I'm gonna use this one <laughs> add a little bit of the shimmer and then just put it right above my eyelid
I ended up turning on the AC because it was so hot in here. I, the fan wasn't doing it for me anymore, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so then I keep just adding the shimmer. And remember, I, I do want to go more for like a natural look. So I just want to get all around my eyelid. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to add a little bit of brown, just like a little tiny soft brown, which is the one on the same palette, and it's called the Butter. So I'm just going to use a tad bit, and then just kind of like in the outer corner, just kind of go in. Really soft. But as I mentioned mentioned on my intro, I am going to be showing you guys more of my shop. We are going to be building a substation, which we are so excited, right? We already have our donuts coming out, obviously from the donut shop. We have our coffee. We have our iced coffee. Uh, we're also going to be adding chai tea lattes. Uh, we already have our infused Red Bull. And we also have our, coming soon is going to be our substation, which that's our next big project that we're going to be doing. So we are so excited for that. We can't wait and we just feel like once we have that going, it's definitely going to stay open for longer hours. Right now we are only open certain opening hours, but once we have that going, we're definitely going to stay open longer and we are looking forward for that because we just feel like we're we're open to uh, we close too early and that's because we're there since five in the morning so we are open very very early for all the people that go we are there super early so yeah so guys so as you can see I already blended all the brown so I'm doing very 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 natural colors and with the flat brush, I'm just going to do a little bit of the brown. The one right next to butter, which is the color Potter. And that one looks more like a darker brown. But that one I'm just going to put under my eyes just to make my eyes pop out a little bit. Just enough and then drag my brush out. Same thing to the other. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do to my eye eyeshadow. I, I'm not really doing much lately. I mean, I've never, I've never not done my makeup for this long. I mean, I used to work for Wells Fargo for, and I can now say where I work. I used to work for Wells Fargo for such a long time, for like 10 years, well, going on 10 years, I believe. And I just felt like I always had to, obviously I always had to do my makeup. You always have to make sure you look representable. This has been the longest that I've gone without doing my makeup for so long. And um, yeah, so it's been good um, not wearing makeup changing it up a little bit. Oh, and I also do use the um, e.l.f. eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I try different types of liquid eyeliners, but I don't feel like this one is... The other ones are cutting it for me. So I use this one here. And I just use, do a very thin line. I don't like doing the whole wing liner. I do a very, very thin one. Oh. Alright, 
and that's pretty much what I do. I think this one's a little longer than this one. And that's pretty much it. And then the next step that I do is I add my concealer, my infallible concealer. And then I just add it under my eyes. And then on my forehead. And just to brighten up and obviously I missed my skin I probably use this like four times throughout my makeup so I probably go through those a lot but I haven't because obviously I haven't been doing my makeup so I just use that I got some on my hair. But how is everybody doing though? I feel like slowly we are passing through this coronavirus and I feel like as much as I want to wrap my head around it, it's just so crazy to me how we're in about a hundred years out from so many epidemics happening. I'm sorry, p pandemics, epidemics everything pretty much and we're st I still feel I still feel like we're not prepared to these uh, large capacities just because you don't know where they're coming from and I did watch an, a documentary on Netflix saying that a lot of scientists have already warned us <sighs> sorry guys my camera died so I'm using my phone's camera which I love but I do like to put my camera to use. But anyways, I was back on blending my eyes. Okay, so I blended all the concealer. And now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 18 hour camel concealer. I love this one because this one I use it as a contour stick and I love it. And believe me, a little bit goes a long way. And then another thing with this is you have to be very careful to blend it as soon as you apply it basically because it does dry up. So, I want to spray a little bit. Like I said, I do spray a lot of that. So you just blend it. Wow, I do love this camera so much better than mine. Or maybe because I have a bigger screen where I can see myself. <laughs> just looks so much better. So yeah, so you just blend, blend, blend. Sometimes I like to contour my jawline right under it, between my cupid's bow, all through my neck. Nothing crazy, just so it can blend with your contour. And that's pretty much what I'm doing, what I'm working with. This is pretty much what I've been doing lately, I don't really do much makeup be as before, just because I feel like less is more I've been working with. So yeah, I just feel like less is more and you wanna take care of your skin as much as possible because unfortunately, ladies, we age faster than men. And I'm starting to notice why, because we wear so much makeup and I'm just trying to stay away from all the craziness for now, for now. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I do. And then I also um, prime my face. 
not pray my face, um, set my face. See, I even forgot all these terminologies because I haven't been doing my makeup as long as I have been in a long time. So I do it with a Fit Me. Um, my color is Fair Light. So that's the color that I use. So I do go under my eyes. And I go under my eyes on the other eye. And I apply all the way to my nose. Yeah, this is a mess. I don't know, but yeah. I was saying uh, before my camera died, I feel like this pandemic has definitely opened up people's eyes in so many different ways. I even heard like the simplest thing, like as far as people hugging, kissing, uh, shaking your hand, that, that definitely after this, that that should go away. And honestly, I think we should. Ever since, you know, all these bad things that have happened, I feel like, this is just my personal opinion. I feel like people that are really um, in their traditions and in their, um, you know, the way that they say hi to their family and stuff like that, it's amazing, you know, making sure that we're saying hi to our, every single one of our family members. But even like strangers, like sometimes when you shake somebody's hand and like for example, for me that I used to work at the bank, I used to shake people's hand all the time because obviously it was our, it was mandatory for us to do that. There was a point that it was getting really ridiculous. Like for everything, welcome, sit down, whatever. Anyways, um, but yeah, we would shake people's hand all the time, and I'm just like, sometimes I would see like, no offense to all you hardworking people out there especially men, because I know a lot of you guys do hard labor and I respect that, believe me, my dad, he's been working in construction his whole life, so that's all I know from my, a man's perspective. But I feel like some men don't wash their hands, unfortunately, I'm sorry to be so, so blunt about it, but I feel like a lot of men don't wash their hands and for those that do, that's awesome. When you go into a bank environment and you know, you appreciate it, you sanitize your hand, you wash your hands, and you know you shake somebody else's hand but for those people that don't care you know i remember i used to see people's hands they were so dirty and i still had to shake people's hand i feel like that slowly has to go away i don't feel like uh i feel there's other ways to show respect not necessarily with handshakes because that's what we were brought up to do but i feel like the little things like that will definitely make huge differences so what makes you think that for those people that unfortunately got the coronavirus, what makes you think that by you, uh, you know, hugging or shaking somebody's hand, you didn't get the coronavirus, right? Unfortunately, it looks like tests are going that we can even get our the coronavirus with just speaking with somebody. Uh, so yeah, so pretty much I feel like there's going to be a lot of changes in the long run for centuries to come, for more years to come that I feel like eventually that type of affection, that type of respect is gonna eventually go away because now I feel like even right now that we always have to put our masks on, unfortunately, like that's our new norm. Like, you know, now we have to speak louder so other people can hear us because when we have our mask on, we're kind of, I, I deal with this every day at work. Um, I have to talk to my, uh, my team members and my, my employees and then I feel like sometimes they don't understand me because I have that mask on so I feel like we just have to make sure that we you know just different little things that we've never really thought of that are going to be definitely make a difference in our life because moving forward I feel like when I first meet somebody I don't think I want to shake their hand I'm sorry but I'm being brutally honest my family I think that will still stay in me because obviously my family I love my family but when it comes to other people, strangers, I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. What do you guys think? I don't know if I'm being brutally honest, but I feel like that slowly has to change. And you know what, this video, it's really just 
talking, letting you guys know. I know a lot of you guys are going through it, right? Everybody is, and I, I feel for you guys because believe me, everybody's going through it, but I'm just kind of giving you guys little pinpoints of what, I'm, what I've seen. And you know, being a business owner, giving you guys a little more on site on that is just it's it's been it's been a little it's been it's been hard um, trying to do so many new things and knowing that you know not everybody's gonna attend to your um, I would say when you're launching things like for example we launched our breakfast burrito and stuff like that we've gotten great feedback. But we definitely uh, think that we would be getting more if we wouldn't be in these situations. So I feel like um, this has definitely been a test for us, for me and my partner. It has been a test for us because it's it's been hard. It's been hard for our families. It's been hard for our personal life. It's been hard for uh, our business. So it, it has definitely taken a toll on us. And, uh, but I do want to say and go on here for the record, we are very, very, very thankful for all the people that have been going and, you know, that family even that have been very supportive and family and friends. So we are very, very thankful for that. Uh, I definitely wanted to make this video to take that time and really thank everybody who has been very supportive. And believe me, this is just the beginning of what we're planning to do. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that you guys are happy all the time. You guys are excited to go there. Uh, we want to make it a friendly environment for those people that wake up in the morning and go get their coffee. Like, I feel like that definitely makes your day. If you go to a coffee shop and you know, you're, they messed up your coffee, you know, something doesn't taste good. Believe me, I take full responsibility for, uh, let's say if a customer, thankfully that hasn't happened, but if, if a customer is not happy or something, I definitely want to know. We appreciate feedback. So that's our biggest thing is we're learning guys. We just took over about three months. So we are learning all the ins and outs of everything. Uh, so I feel like we'll get there eventually. You know, we want to make sure that we we reach the crowds that we want and the people that we want and we are very very thankful for and I just feel like we have more to give guys this is not we are not done with our star donut we are definitely gonna be bringing you guys more and more and just making it better for you and our plans are to grow and expand and just make it a big big thing for you guys because this is for you guys i feel like growing and helping the community and being having somewhere to go with food i feel like i have a lot of passion for food and i want to share it with people i want to share what we can bring and what we can do and we have so many plans for you guys so we can't wait uh, I thank you so much for all my subscribers as well. I do appreciate all the love and support. So this channel will go to the next level. I promise you guys I will be making more content and I will be taking this to the next level. I know it's been a little iffy lately because obviously I'm, I'm transitioning over to um, you know, I, I do have my my business that I do have to run but I, I have not forgotten about YouTube, believe me. It's like a daily thing that I have to do. So that's why I literally just got on here and I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you guys know that I am gonna go full force with you guys and I am gonna take this channel to the next level. Just be patient with me. I know I've probably been saying that in other videos, but I promise you guys, I'm, it's only gonna get better from here. And I know that we're all gonna get through this and we're all gonna be in such a better mindset after maybe two months hopefully we'll be back to normal and you know just I don't know just being able to breathe right because it I feel right now we're all on edge a little bit and sometimes you just want to vent and you just want to talk to somebody and you just want to feel that they're connecting with you because remember guys we're all in this together and the way that we feel 
other people may feel worse other people may feel better other people are okay with it because you know they stay home or whatever but you know at the same time i just feel like it's affected everybody in one way or another and it just made me reevaluate my life and really want to be really want to like be a better person i know it sounds crazy because i mean i know a lot of people say the same thing over and over again but it just makes you see life into such a different perspective that it changes you a little bit life changes you a little bit after all this like you know for by the way i'm putting on my lashes guys sorry um you just want to be a better person and and visit your family a little more or visit your grandparents a little more or take them in consideration more uh, I know it sounds crazy but after this I definitely want to do a huge party with all my family I know it may not be so soon because obviously we still want to make sure we're protected and we're taking care of each other but I feel it's well deserved after like you know meeting just like a huge family party just inviting all family and all friends and just getting drunk because <laughs> i definitely think we all need that and not necessarily drunk but i feel like we all need some some clarity some some family time some venting time clowning around time so i feel like we all need that so i just I think we're all ready for that so I see it in everybody's language I see it in everybody's um, body language you know it's just we are all ready and we are all tired of this and especially in California it hit us really hard uh, not as hard as New York but um, it hit us really bad a lot of cases in our area too so I'm only about 45 minutes away from LA, so it hit us really hard. But, I mean, I know we're gonna get through this and I'm a positive, I have a positive mindset and I think with a lot of positivity, we're gonna get where we wanna be. And I am hopeful for it. But um, yeah, so this is pretty much my look. I am just gonna add a little bit of blush because I am a little bit on the bronze side. And these lashes, guys, I did buy them from, um, oh my God, what's that? Holly bought, Holly, I'll, I'll link them for you. I bought this for $5, guys, and I love these lashes and they're real mink lashes. So they are so bomb. I love these. Oh god. I think this is one of my longest videos, by the way. I'm just ramping and ramping. And then the last thing I just um put lash, I mean once I have put my lashes on, I put my mascara. And I use any type of mascara honestly. Right now I'm not really picky. They discontinued this lap, this um, this mascara from Rimmel. If, if you guys know what I'm talking about, please, if you guys see it, let me know. I can't find it. I think they did discontinue it. So, and I don't have, I don't remember the full name of it because it's all blurry. But yeah, that's what happened. So I'm just using a basic one. That one was only three dollars, by the way, and it was amazing and it works so good. And yeah, and I'm still not wearing my extensions. This is my natural hair. I haven't dyed it for over over three years. So all my color, my entire hair is virgin again. My entire body, I'm just kidding. And yeah, so this is pretty much how it looks. I didn't do anything to it. I just blow dried it yesterday. So it's growing because I literally have my hair in a bun. I look like a boy every day. So for those of you guys that see me at the shop, I'm sorry for you guys that see me that way, but that's what it is. Sorry guys. What you see is what you get.
And I don't mean guys, like men, I mean like everybody, so. I just put a little bit under my eyes. And that's it. And then my combo for my lips has been my, if I can find it. one of these nudes it's from bb i bought it i bought it at um it was a pack of eight nudes from bb and i bought it at ross which i miss ross by the way who misses ross's if you guys miss ross please give it a like because i miss ross completely and i need ross in my life and yeah i just put it on strain it a little bit so this is pretty much the look guys and I'm gonna add a little bit of my blush I use the Sephora pink one this one is the rose glow so I use this one and then I just grab a blush brush somewhere here regular fat brush like this and I I think I've used it in my other video the master chrome from Maybelline by the way most of this makeup is drugstore makeup so yeah why because I've tried so much expensive makeup guys and I feel like it all works the same sorry they all work the same and I'm just getting broke buying makeup because they all work the same. So I don't think I need to. But if you guys highly recommend one, let me know. I've used NARS. I've used, um, what's the other one? Um, can't think of the name, but I've used those foundations. Like, $60 per foundation, right? And I'm, I just feel like they work the same. I feel like this one actually works a little better than NARS. And NARS the, creased me really bad. This one doesn't crease me at all, guys. Like, I I feel like I'm literally Photoshop, And I'm not. Like, I'm literally me. Let's add a little bit of gloss on my lips. A matte for my liking. Who's over matte? I feel like I'm all over a matte a little bit. Just a little pinky. So yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. That's my look that I do every day. And by the way, this one is also a drugstore um, um, liquid lip, lip, liquid lip gloss. This one is from Mega Blast, and yeah, it's kind of like in a cut. This is the color Peach Cell. No way, it's Peach Stole. It's like a peachy color, kind of blend with my nude. So yeah, so this is my look, guys. What do you guys think? But I am. <laughs> gonna be doing some shopping I am gonna be going to the grocery store right now so 
that's where I'm at. But if you guys have any comments, please, please, please leave them down below. Let me know what you guys want to watch and I will be happy to make that video for you guys. But like I mentioned in my intro and in my entire video, I am going to be bringing you guys in this journey of making the substation. Get ready for that because I am super excited. It's really simple, but I will show you guys the entire process, how I bought it, where I bought it. And for those of you guys that are still interested in me uh, making a video of how to become a business owner or how, what steps do you need to do to open a restaurant, I am still gonna bring you guys that video. I just feel like I wanna have full clarity as far as in business for at least six months to kind of in case anything comes up i'm writing everything down guys trust me and this is a business transform no transform into a new business so it's not like we bought this from the we built we were building it from the ground up and we have some also some new friends they also started their business i i would love for them to come to my channel uh, and talk a little bit about their journey, theirs, their business is a little bit different. I don't want to say how, but I would love for them to also join my my video and just kind of ask us questions and just, yeah, make a video of it. But yeah, so pretty much that is it, guys. Like I said, this is my look and I'm going to the store, nothing crazy. And I will be making more videos for you guys, I promise. So yeah, so just stay tuned. And if you guys are interested, don't forget to subscribe down below and I will be bringing you guys more videos. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you guys on my next video.